Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you an easy way to install file synced to your Fire Stick as well as the best file sync codes that you can use in 2024. The whole process is going to be really easy and won't take you more than a couple of minutes. So the first thing that you have to do is get an app called Unloader. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on your device, here it is, and start typing the loader in the search bar. As you can see, there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app because the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. Here they are. Let's open them. Then go down to My Far TV. Here you have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then we go to install unknown apps and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does is going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's finally go to the list of applications on your device. Here it is, let's open it. And here is the loader, which we already got to your Fire Stick, it's set up and ready to use. However, before actually using the loader, I always recommend to get a VPN connected as well. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great application for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device that you may have. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, and you'll be able to connect all of your devices with one subscription only, which is amazing news. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Greece right now, and from the moment we connect, all our traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track us or snoop on us online, and that's extremely important if we wish to stay safe and out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. So go get those 4 months for free, and then use the loader safely. Now you can finally open the downloader application. Then here on the left side menu, make sure to select home, that's important, and then here you see such a search bar, which we'll use to enter a code, which is going to be 27642. So once again, the code is 27642, and then we click on go. Now in a couple of seconds, the load is going to start for us. There is three more seconds to wait, and the load has been started. Click on install right here, and then after the app was installed to your device, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't really need it anymore, so don't let it clog the memory of your Fire Stick. Click on delete, and then delete once again. And also now, when we got the app to our device, there's one more really important thing, we have to go to settings again, to my Fire TV, and then again to developer options, then to install unknown apps, and this time we have to make sure that this option is turned on for file synced. It's a must if we want to use it to download other applications from the different app stores, so make sure that this option stays on. After that you'll be able to fully use the file synced application. Now we can finally go to the list of applications on your device, here it is, let's open it, then scroll down, and here at the bottom you'll see File Synced. Now I'd recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, there's a button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way File Synced application is always going to be at the very top of your application list, 
and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Then once again, don't forget to keep your VPN connected, and don't forget that you can get 4 months of NordVPN for free if you use my link in the pinned comment below the video. Then let's finally open the file synced. And now here in the app there is a couple of things that you can do. You can go to downloads, where you'll find all the applications or files that you have downloaded from file synced. Then you can go to previous codes, where you'll see all your code history and the codes that you have previously entered in the search. Then there's trending codes. I'll have to blur out my screen because YouTube may not appreciate it. And there are some apps that I cannot show you, but basically here you'll find all the popular codes which you can use on this file synced store. Also, there is a button for favorites where you'll find all your favorite codes. And of course, settings. So here you can enable or disable the showing of adult content, clear the cache of the application, automatically install apps after download, and check for the updates for file synced application. So that's pretty basic stuff. And now for the most important, of course, I'll show you my favorite file synced codes, which you can also use in 2024 to get some apps to your Fire Stick. And now let's enter the first code of today. It's going to be 9876699. So once again, the code is 9876699. Then click on next and press and enter code. Once again, I had to blur out my screen because I cannot show you the exact applications which are available in this library, but here you'll find quite a bunch of movie apps, live TV apps, IPTV players, utility applications, and so on. It's got quite a bunch of applications, currently it's more than 100 applications right here, so I'm pretty sure you are going to like this app. And that was the first code of the day, but of course we are going to have more codes for you. So click back on your remote and now we'll go for a second code. It's really easy and simple, you just need to enter number 8 for 8 times. So it's 8888 8888. Then we click on next and click on enter code. Once again, I did have to blur out the screen, but of course in your case it's not going to be blurry. In this library there are currently around 30 applications and they are mostly for people who are interested in TV applications. So those are mostly live TV apps, all kind of them, with TVs from all over the world. So if you are into live TV services, you definitely are going to like this library of file synced. And now let's go for the last code of today. So let's clear it up and the code is going to be 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 Free, then we click on next and click on enter code. Once again, of course, a blurred screen and here you'll mostly find movie application as well as some utility apps for your Fire Stick. There is not a lot of apps, only five or six of them, but they are all really useful. Though this code is not as good as the previous two that I showed you, but in case those previous two do not work, you can definitely get this code and it should work for you. And pretty much that's it, that's how you can set up files synced on your Fire Stick, get the best codes and enjoy.